moment we see the first phases of introduction of carbon nanotubes, that's to say uh, ability to manipulate existing materials and uh, potential is uh, still actually to be explored. It is quite uh, promising and uh, we are very much looking into further steps into learning more about it. Carbon Black is our heritage solution. We have experienced it, we know its functionalities for connectivity and also ultraviolet protection. And uh, we were made aware of the carbon nanotubes by the development from Oxial. It was the first context we had in 2015. And, uh, and the new development projects, I remembered our context and I said, look, we have this material which has these fascinating properties. Uh, it might be worthwhile having a test and contacting again Oxial. So that's how it happened. We were ongoing with trials and said, could Oxial supply us with a few samples? And in the meantime, there were matrix batches, the new demand which simplifies the manufacturing usage. If you use simply nanoparticles, that's very difficult to process under just regular manufacturing conditions. But with a master batch, it makes it quite easy. We could implement it directly into our manufacturing line and see the results. So the results we achieved were better than we expected. That was the communication we gave. It's like, okay, we are not quite happy. You say, okay, what's the problem? It's conductive. It's very good, it's too good. We didn't expect it to be this good. So the results are very, very good. And what we now are planning to do is uh, establish how the variation in tube concentration will give us the desired uh, results. The goal was um, to increase the surface of the uh, area available where the photovoltaic cell can be applied on. And by doing so, you have to add very, very thin structures. And these thin structures have to have different functions in them. Instead of using separate materials to reach the requirements, you are trying to modify one material to have more than one property. And in this case, it's a functionality, it's not just structural support, but also uh, electrostatic dissipation within a certain limitations. Uh, I'm very happy to see the different inputs from various industries. It gives us insight also from the research in academia, where we can take this and uh, go further with our research and perhaps share it on the next event.